Welcome to Crown Molding LED Lighting. I'm going to show you the best way to solder power wires on the end of an LED strip. I'm also going to explain to you why soldering is better than clip connectors. Okay. Here are some tools and supplies that you will need to solder wires on the ends. You need a power pack or transformer to do your testing when you're complete. This is a 300 watt heater that we use to shrink wrap our tubing on the end of our LED strips. We have a pair of wire cutters, a pair of scissors that we use to cut our LED strips at the segment that we need. We go a little extra and we put liquid tape under the shrink tube and then we have our tubes and we have a heat sink that we put on our tape and this protects the heat from migrating into the chip then we have our solder which is an O32 rosin or flux core solder works extremely well then we have our little pigtail wires that we're going to use to solder on the ends of our strips You'll need some wire strippers. These are more professional type, pull apart. They make cheaper ones with a little gauge on the side that you can set the gauge of your wire and strip. And then there's the most common ones with the little gauge marks in it. And here's our soldering iron. We're going to set our soldering iron at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Before we get started, you might be asking why would I want to solder a wire on the end of an LED strip when snap-on connectors are available? Well, to start out with, there's different kinds of LED strips. There's some real cheap ones that are about eight to 10 bucks. And when you go to try sliding it under the end of the little fingers, it's just very difficult. And they pull out very easily and or they'll tear apart like you see on this one. And then they make a mid-grade strip that has more copper into it and they can be pushed under it. I'm gonna show you on these little fingers, there's a little point right there. And that's all that's holding the strip in. And it doesn't give you the full power of the contact on the strip. When these are closed and snap shut, they just don't hold very well. They pull out, they'll lose their contacts. So that's why we solder wires on. Another thing I'd like to address with you on end pigtails or on couplings, most of these manufacturers use a very, very small wire. It's like a 22 or a 24 gauge. And this is only good for like one strip. When you add two or multiple strips together, you'll start losing your voltage because of this very fine wire. Now we use a 16 gauge wire and that makes all the difference in the current going down that strip. And that'll give you better lighting. Now I'll strip the wires with a 16 gauge wire slot. So what we're gonna do is go inside there and we're gonna strip about 3 30 seconds of an inch, just enough to get on that LED copper pad. And the other end, we normally strip about a quarter inch and tend these so these can go into our connectors on our LED strips. But as you can see, there's just 3 30 seconds of an inch. Before we get started tinning the strip ends of our wire, there's one thing I want to bring to your attention. The end of the soldering iron is imperative that you keep it clean. That keeps all those contaminants from getting into the wire, into the solder, and when you go to solder to your LED strip, you take that contamination with you. It makes it harder for it to heat up and to bond correctly. You want to keep that clean at all times. Okay. 
we're going to tin the ends of our wire. My tip is clean. And what I'm going to start doing is to put a little solder on. You can see it makes it shiny. It has a little bubble. And that's called wetting it. Now you can put that on the end of your wire. And that helps the conductivity of the heat go through the wire. And if you heat it for a few seconds, then you can add your solder to it. And it'll migrate through all the strands. Now on the end, I don't have so much room. I'm going to just touch it on the end. I'm going to put a little solder on it. And hold it on the end and let that heat up a little bit. And then I'm going to put the solder on the iron. And it will migrate right through the wire strands. Okay, we're ready to start soldering our wires onto our LED strip. But before we do, I want to show you a handy little tool. And it's a heat sink clamp. And you put it on your strip. And what that does is when you're heating this, it lets the heat go into your clamp and dissipate out. And it protects your LED chip on the back side. Now, if you don't have one of those, you can use a battery clamp. And it has straight edges to it. And it works pretty good. And you can put that on there. It has to go a little bit of an angle. But do not put it on top of your chip because you may damage your chip. There's another one. It's an alligator clip and you might be tempted to use it. But I wouldn't because it has sharp points. And it could penetrate the insulation on your LED strip. Another tip I want to show you is on the end of your strips, sometimes you look at the pad and the solder on it looks black grayed, brown, looks kind of nasty. It doesn't look shiny and clean looking. So I might suggest putting your clamp on it, taking your soldering iron, and heat it up, and just take something like a razor knife and just scrape that surface off. And then you can go back and apply your solder to it. And this will give you a really good conductive joint. Okay, we're ready to solder wires on now. And I'm gonna take some solder with my nice clean tip and my clamp on there. And I'm gonna put a drop of solder on each one of them. It's like a half a ball. Then I'm gonna take my positive lead and I'm gonna heat the end of the ball up and get it hot. And then I'm gonna slide in with my wire and put the heat on top of the wire. And that's done. Same thing with the next one. I'm going to heat that little, clean that tip again. You can never clean it too many times. Put the heat on top of that little ball and slide in with your wire. And it's done. Here's another step that we do here at Crown Molding LED Lighting. Is we insulate more to make sure that you have a very good connection. That it's well insulated. We're taking a liquid tape and putting it on the end, and we're sealing that up. Now we're going to put our shrink tube on the end of our LED lighting strip. But before we do, I want to warn you about a few heating tools that you do not want to use. This is a heat gun. It's made to strip paint. It's 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. If you put this on that strip and you keep it too long, or get too close, you will damage the chip and you will also melt the insulation. Another one that's not good to use is the propane torches. This thing gets up to 1100 degrees and it will melt aluminum. I would not use that on a lighting strip. What we use is a 300 watt blower and it stays pretty cool and has a small airflow that comes out the end of it. So what we're gonna do is use that on our LED lighting strip. Before we do, we take and put a little color code on all of our strips here at Crown Molding LED, and this designates the length of the strip that we're making for our customer. Okay, that is shrunk up very nicely. And what I'm going to do now is just peel the adhesive covering, the backing off of the back of it. And then I'm going to slide my main shrink tube over the front of it. 
and I'm just gonna pinch it on the back and it'll stay into the adhesive that way. And it's just right above the chip. So we're gonna heat that up now. And as you can see, it's not hot. I can put my finger on it. And it made a very good tight seal on that strip. Now this is a professional way of soldering wires and insulating them on crown molding LED lighting strips. I hope this has helped you.